This is a review of the Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15 platform rifle. I have bought three of these rifles over the last year or so, and they're all designed for one thing, which is short range, you know, inside of a hundred, almost tactical pig hunting. There's a, we do a lot of spot and stalking here, and you'll ease up into a pack of pigs. The first one's standing still, you've got them with whatever caliber. And then when they start moving, we found that 5.56 and some of the smaller calibers don't do as much damage. So this one is chambered in 7.62 by 39, as are all the other two. So I have three chambered in 7.62 by 39, and that's a preference of mine. It's 30 caliber, cheap ammo, and uh, it really, really has a much heavier impact on the pigs. I'm going to do a video shooting this rifle later. Anyway, about the gun. It is made in North Carolina, 100% U.S. made. And I bought this rifle off of ClassicFirearms.com. I've always found the 30 round mags to be really, really cumbersome. They just hang out there. I mean, I'm not shooting people. And if I was at war, I'd want a 30 round mag because of capacity, right? You just don't care because it's your life. Out here, we're farting around. So I bought 10 round magazines off of Classic Firearms when I bought the weapon. And I just put two in my pocket. So I don't carry the weapon around uh, loaded. And then when we get on some pigs and we start to engage them, I'll slap in a mag. If I need a follow-up mag, um, I've got one in my pocket. If you shoot five or six times, you're good. And that is my personal preference. I also pull the flash hiders off of every gun. I just think they're completely unnecessary. If you like the look of a flash hider, that's just fine. Anyway, it has a uh, six position uh, stock, just like most AR-15s. Okay, charging handle function. Lock it open on the back side, just like every other AR. Go button, as I like to call it. The uh, safety is on the left-hand side of the rifle. You could replace the parts and put it on both sides if you would like to do that. You can see that I have a custom dust cover here. It says 7.62 by 39. One interesting thing about the new ARs is they're coming in, you know, six or seven calibers all the way up to 458. The magazines are the same size. So you can stick a 223 magazine in here, or a 300 Blackout, 300 Whisper. 6.8. The length of magazine is the same. It's still an AR platform rifle. I put a dust cover on there on all three of my rifles. This says 7.62 by 39. If you search the internet, you can find those. And uh, just to make it clear. So if you buy a rifle, if you buy an AR and any other caliber other than uh, 5.56, I would suggest you do something. It's, it's imprinted on the barrel here, so the, the manufacturer is smart enough to do that. But you've got to be careful around people because they're used to 5.56. This is a fantastic weapon. I'm going to run a bunch of different ammo, show you some accuracy, that kind of thing. Get yourself a Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15 from ClassicFirearms.com, and I should have a written review on RanchFerry.com soon. Ranch Ferry here. There may be a little bit of wind noise associated with this video because we're outside, man. A lot of my reviewers on YouTube, people sit inside, but sorry. I went outside. The wind is blowing gonna have to get over that we're gonna check our accuracy with the 7.62 by 39 caliber Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15 with a fine mini fridge not a lot of people have a fine mini fridge like this at the ranch but we do inside you will see I have a few items there's water wolf brand chili with beans there's a big debate in Texas whether it's with beans or without I'm a bean man. Some dark red kidney beans. No one eats those, so we'll shoot that. That's gross. And some frijoles refritos to finish it off. Let's see what happens. Well, I whiffed the water. Wolf brand chili took a beating. The dark red kidney beans took a beating. And the frijoles, refritos. Ole guacamole, they are very durable. Maybe because they're just a big wet clump and it's 40 degrees outside, I don't know. This is a fun way to test. So I think I'll live with my bullet performance. Center mass, center mass, bad shooting by the operator. With beans! We love the beans! Alright, for you guys who have a bit more pucker factor 
that want to actually see an accuracy test other than shooting chili beans and refried beans, which is accurate enough for me, I've set one up for you. We're 100 yards from the house. We're going to be shooting off the back porch. I've got my favorite target, which is a playing card. You put them on a playing card, they print on a playing card, your gun's shooting pretty good. All right, here we go. Nice size for an AR-15 shooting 7.62 by 39. As discussed earlier, that rifle is for short range pig hunting. This is a 100 yard target. And I will move that group two clicks left and I'm gonna leave it. I couldn't stand it. Earlier in the video, I was shooting accuracy test with the 762 by 39 Bear Creek Arsenal. And it was a little bit to the right, so I adjusted the scope and said it was good. And I said, no, 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 it's a video, man. Let's make it right. So here's the group afterward. This is the first three were there, there, and there. I clicked it left, boom, 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 boom. That's with very cheap Russian ammo, and I can live with that. Remember, pig hunting, 100 yards or closer, that's fantastic. And of course, I could have thrown these two, but I'll take those ones when they print on the card every time, and my scope is on. You might want to buy one of those VX Hog scopes or look at my review of the VX Hog that's on that gun. It is a fantastic scope for this kind of work. Ranchferry.com. The last thing I'm going to do for the Bear Creek Arsenal 7.62 by 39 rifle, which we've already discussed as 30 caliber and quite the pig stopper, is a reliability test. And there's no other way for me to do a reliability test than to find some ammo and shoot the gun. So we've got, I don't know what this is, Norco China Sports. We've got Norco lead core bullet non-corrosive from China. I think I'll clean the barrel after this. We've got tool ammo, which is very well known. And then we have Hornady 7.62 by 39 with the SST bullet in it, which I prefer to hunt with. But when you're shooting pigs, who cares? So we have basic hodgepodge. We've got this mysterious gold look here. I don't know what that is. We got brass case. I got the Hornady with the SST. I'll cram a couple more in here. These are both full metal jacket. Not that that's going to matter on a reliability test. And two hollow points. These are tool. I know that for a fact. Whoop, well, that one doesn't want to play along. So we'll cram this mysterious piece of crap on top. Let's. Seven or eight, I didn't really count because I'm going to shoot it till it empty. Let's just act like a little kid. So for all you scientific people who are a little more anal retentive, one test, you know, really isn't a test. So I've got three, this mysterious black steel case that's old and has red stuff around the primers. I don't know what the hell that is. Two golden beauties. I don't know what those are. These are full metal jackets. We'll go 10 rounds this time. This is tool ammo. I know that for a fact. I got some Hornady's in here with the SST, but that doesn't really matter either. It's all about the actual round. Another Golden Beauty, probably the Norico. I don't know what, but they're kind of greasy. And so second test of reliability for you guys who say, oh, one test isn't enough. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay, are you convinced yet? Get yourself a Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15 from ClassicFirearms.com and I should have a written review on RanchFairy.com soon.